anesthes and spark plugs. Do the two really go together? Not anymore. Here's why. The older spark plugs use a solid core electrode and a different coating on the threads. This was the time when they were first used in aluminum cylinder heads and the dissimilar metals made it very easy over time for the threads to come, become corroded in the aluminum and make them very difficult to remove. So techs back then would use a, just a small dab of anesthes on the threads to make it easier for them to be removed the next time around. But now ignition systems have changed dramatically. We're talking about much higher voltage outputs, 60, even 70,000 volts on some vehicles. Today, spark plugs use precious metal electrodes and a different coating on the thread boss, making the use of anti-seize not necessary. In fact, it's not a good idea for a couple of reasons. Number one, if you apply anti-seize or never seize to the plug threads, and you go to torque the plugs down in the heads, you can actually over torque the plug and cause damage to the plug that you're not gonna know about, but your ignition system certainly will. Oh, you don't use a torque wrench to tighten down your spark plugs? Well, that's also a mistake because you wanna make sure the torque is correct, primarily to make sure that the heat transfer from that plug to the cylinder head is the way it's supposed to be. Too tight, as I mentioned, breakage. Too loose, the plug could actually work its way loose, provide a compression loss, even blow the plug out of the cylinder head in some instances. So do yourself and your customer a favor. When you're installing the plugs, leave the anesthes on the toolbox and grab your torque wrench instead.